I'm Nidanoski, and I'm here trying out a new game called Wildermyth. Perhaps it's called Wildermyth, I'm not really sure. I haven't seen too much of it other than what's on the Steam page. It's a game from developer publisher World Walker Games LLC. According to them, they say, We call Wildermyth a myth-making tactical RPG. It empowers you to craft iconic characters who grow through deep, rewarding battles and interactive storytelling. So I'm somewhat excited for that. I think that is a neat theme where you take really, I'm assuming from the what I've seen on the Steam page, um, very somewhat generic heroes and define them through their journey, through your choices and events. So with that, I'm looking forward to getting started. Let's see, as you can see, I've already signed in as myself. Age of Ulstrix, a three chapter story that is geared toward new players face off against the implacable Gorgon leader, Ulstrix, or Heart of the Forest. A campaign to teach you how to make a campaign, this is not yet a complete experience, so we can make a campaign? Huh. I'm not sure exactly whether we'll be making a campaign, um, kind of like Divinity Original Sin 2's um, Game Master Mode. My dog just pressed the escape button to get my attention. I mean, she was trying to tap my hand, but she just pressed the escape button to get my attention. Okay, so. Let's go ahead, go back to the new story. <laughs> they have a J.K. Rowling to... Oh, C.S. Lewis! Oh! You know, I love that. I'm running a Call of Cthulhu scenario right now. H.P. Lovecraft. I know all of these people. So, do we want Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe difficulty? Harry Potter difficulty? Game of Thrones difficulty? Or Cthulhu in Power Armor difficulty? Hmm... I think we'll do J.K. Rowling. I think we'll do J.K. Rowling. My dog is begging for attention, so I may be distracted. Because she's a good puppy. Alright, customize difficulty. You know what, let's just stick with what they say. Pick mods. Let's stick with what they say. And main enemy, Gorgons. Alright, so we have a future mystic who's cowardly and snark, future hunter who's aloof leader, and a future warrior who's goofish and snark. So, I want to see exactly what the, all this is, so I'm just gonna... Okay, so it's really just changing appearance and their um, adjectives. I'm guessing their adjectives are direct modifiers. And three, two, one, stop. So we have Cowardly Greed Wagon. Oh dear, that's our warrior. Uh, aloof leader and um, poetic or poetical romantic. Okay. Arthne, Tylen, and Kache. Takes a bit of time to put all this together. Get ready. So far, I'm liking the artistic charm. Oh, and there goes the artistic charm. This book. There's room in it for another story. It's cold. I'm stuck here. Wilderness. Yeah, it's it has a different kind of charm than the title screen, but it's definitely something that you can tell there's love going in here. Certainly a more aged look than perhaps I'd prefer. Uh, just in general, the line's a little bit harsh, but it's certainly better than anything I could do. What could it be? Or what could be more tragic than this? Right. Then this must be the beginning. Here in our yandering country, something is, or something in the woods is very strange. 
Startled only by the restless... I cannot talk or read today. Startled only by the restless birds among the thorn, a young woman named Artini... Yeah, Artini... Artini... Took the seasonal road to the town of Spookla. Everyone's life is their own private legend. We're all hoping the hero gets rich in the end. Sure, the tale of Arthne Autumnhurst isn't necessarily a heroic one. I just think goodness is something you afford once your own worries are few. Alright, no more useless thoughts. Morning's getting late and I still have to drag Taylin out her door. I'm sure she's got some grand plan to seek glory somewhere. We'll have to talk her down. Smoke. Smoke! If she dies without paying me back, Taylin spends too much time with ferns and fire. Am I... Oh, I like this. Um... Talon! Talon, please answer me, Talon! Darn, she's dead, isn't she? No. Please, no. Alright, so we're setting up the board. Hmm, hero has an action left, hero has no actions. Okay. Pretty standard stuff. Objectives are listed in details. Top bar over a bit. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> I like the move. Okay, all right. Stand right next to the door, then click the open door ability. Oh, down here. Okay. Her home standing. It's all right. Breathe, Arthur. Talon, Talon. I can't decide how to pronounce her name. Shout something if you're in there. Arthne? Um, could it be she came because? Perfect timing. It's just like I was always saying, Arthne. This is perfect. No time now. These things came. I'm not sure what they were. Caused chaos. This one behind the house won't leave. Grab something and hit it. I like the transparency effect of the flame. It looks both cheesy and well done at the same time, so really great for the vibe I think they're going for. Let's see. Pitchfork. <laughs> this is for cooking when I grab this. You know, in case we... None of that, Arthony. Trust me. Just open the door when you're ready and go slow. Faux cards. Um, row. Hooves thrown sloppily around beneath it and runs staggering below or bellowing in agony. Alright, and it's behind the house. So how do I get there? Oh, through here. Open the door. We could attack the scenery. It's brilliant. Enemy is revealed. I feel a very Overwatch vibe. Stand adjacent to an ally to wall with them. Reducing or walling reduces incoming damage by one and does not stack. All right. Oh my gosh, this is Overwatch. Or not Overwatch, this is... I was saying Overwatch. Um, XCOM. This is just like XCOM. Alright, let's go and strike. 75%. Yep, down to the little bars of health. Alright. 100% shot. And it's down. This is just XCOM fantasy, um, or literary style. 
Words like Arthni are built hardy, enduring with a natural aptitude for battle. They develop powerful techniques for close combat. If Sentinel, Zealous Leap, or Raider active as a swift action once per turn, Arthni can fire an empty or f can start firing an empty tile or break a piece of adjacent scenery. On um, one turn cooldown as a swift action, Arthne makes a daring leap up to three spaces away. That's pretty cool. Replaces Guardian. The warrior leaps up to two tiles in order to intercept a foe who passes nearby. That's Overwatch. Uh, performing... Yeah. Hunters like Talon uh, thrive in the wild. Surviving through stealth and peerless archery, they master their surroundings and bring down large quarry. We have archery passive. Talon counters all ranged attacks against her. Phantom Flare once per combat as a swift action. Talon sparks an eye-catching flame, enabling flanking attacks on the enemy cut off or cut in the radius. Nambush. Talon draws back, ready to loose an arrow upon it. This is again Overwatch. Yeah, not, it doesn't feel like the game Overwatch, it feels like the ability Overwatch, um, which I associated with XCOM. Alright, so we found... Melee accuracy, range accuracy... Um, you know, it seemed like, interestingly enough, Talon didn't have an issue with accuracy. You're natural, Arthney. You and I, we... Or could we make a good team is all. Kache could be in trouble. And we'll be safer together. Come on, let's keep our world. Our word world. Could be to have something to do with I'm sick. Um, yeah. But we're playing through anyways. Now up to that shadowy ruin? What about the village? The fire's out. The thing is dead. The other townsfolk will do what need doing. And I'm Kinda scared. Now that you mention it, the tracks do lead that way. Why was Patche so intent on meeting us there? The old black tower. You're worried too, aren't you? Oh, Catche. Always chasing some fanciful dream. I hope you didn't walk blindly into a nightmare. Hmm. Come on, Catche. You and Catche are good friends. Should we be worried about catching? I don't think so. Weird things do tend to happen around her, but she's probably up there so now, figuring things out. All right. Scouting in order to find sites in the wilderness, heroes must scout the land, which takes time. Click on unscouted tile to show the scout action. Okay. Ooh, we get to pick. Hmm. I don't suppose I can do that. Sentinel. Let's go. The tower Akache had chosen to meet was a place she often used to escape to as a girl. She knew its rooms and floors so well, she could survive being chased through them. But they were a bit dusty. <coughs> and now I wait, I suppose, <coughs> until that beast breaks through. What do you think, beast? Will my friends swoop in and save me? <laughs> the tower was a picturesque old ruin, perfect for a plot twist, really. The emptiness was deep and fragrant, the odor of 10,000 rains that have soaked into stone. But as the old will tell you, in dusty shadows, shy things long go overlooked. That book, why have I never? Are you wondering why I'm talking to myself, beast? I'm also wondering. The book felt heavier than its slender spine suggested. Wilderness. 
It was full of strange stories, the folklore of folk long forgotten. The candlelight leaping struck or struck no significant bell. It was the weird story of a child watching candlelight against the ceiling and wishing herself through it to a far realm without grown ups. Chant of the soil? Lacked any satisfying action. It was told through the mind of a blind deaf slave. She learned the humming scented song of the earth she moved, and so avoided slaying worms with her shovel. The spook bluff dancer claimed there was danced a man in so many spinning circles that he stopped moving, and everything else began to turn instead. Pache reached the last word of the final t uh, or tall tale. A few blank pages were left. This book. There's room for another story. It's cold. I'm stuck here. Right. Then this must be the beginning. Here, in our yandering company. Or country. Katche wrote, not sure why, but finding words ready. Omens had taken shape in the fabric of the land. There, inside the weird turning hearts that thrummed in things. Something in the words is very strange. Some were just misgivings. They crept through the body like the sourceless aches one wakes with. Others were more substantial. Now they seemed a thundering promise of doom. From the shadowy fringes of the lands we claim as our own. To the huddled homes, all close, cramped, and watchful. Fears have begun to pool and fester, dr drowning good sense. In the wild, black woods where birds once belled. A hateful silence churns. A suddenly startle... A sudden startling pain in licked Cache's head. It subsided. For a moment she felt very blank. The story she'd written lay before her in luminous script, and more empty pages seemed to have spread it up behind it. Why do I feel... Powerful. Let's take our staff. Run if you're wise! <laughs> Foe cards, Rager, it charges without seeing uh, misshapen tusks swing wildly. Okay. Hmm. Extinguish lamp. Confuse. There's a chest here. Why can I not open it? Attack scenery. Attack scenery. Okay. Let's open the door. What do we got? It has been revealed. Interfuse with an object, then use the object to attack. Use the interfuse ability to connect with fire or scenery. Different types of scenery give different effects and abilities. Many of these let you use the scenery to damage enemies. Okay. Splinter Blast! Or withdraw. Interfuse, let's see. Razor. Illuminate. Alright. Steel fire, three magic damage, one pierce. I see. Very nice. Oh my goodness, I'm loving it. 
Turn six. As a mystic, Pache has acquired the knack for interfusing her spirit with earthly things, drawing on these bonds to enact formidable magics. Alright, soul splitting. When Pache takes damage for each infused object, one point is prevented. And the object takes two damage instead. That's actually pretty good. Advanced interfusion abilities for stones and bones. Oh, earth scrub. Allies may wall with objects that Pache is interfused with. That's really good. I think it was. Indignance. Passive. Katche's presence is charged against her foe, dealing damage to hostile creatures who enter adjacency with her for any reason. While I do like that, I have a feeling if they're entering adjacency to Katche, I'm doing something wrong. Well, at least as long as my allies are alive. Instead, I do like the Earth Scribe. Okay. Let's go and claim that. Did I just do that? I did. I felt, you know, a something. And, and does this mean I'm now a charmingly enigmatic and attractive young enchantress? Kache, you all right? Thanks for coming, Talon. Ar Arthne, glad you made it too. You see the smoke? That's from Spook Bluff. Yeah, that's Spook Bluff. It's burning. How? I've been a little busy myself, actually. Would you two mind to believe? So I'm not sure if you've ever seen. A monster? Sure we have. We slay monsters. Well, I'm charmingly enigmatic. <laughs> Alright. You've discovered a new site. It's still under enemy control, though. Click on the banner to assault it. So, we may get more heroes. I'm not sure if we'll get more in this ultimately tutorial scenario. How should we do this? Whoever kills the most thing gets the loot. Oh, that's not cash. Oh, well. Uh, how do we do this? Whoever kills the most things gets the loot. I'll do it like before. If you're not the hunter, you're the prey. Um, trust me, I came out of meth. Let's see. Let's go defensive. We might need to open the door. But you didn't answer my loot question. <laughs> Okay, combat modifiers, fortitude, all heroes plus one temporary hit points. We have the raccoon and the rose swarm. Okay, so the raccoon is new, scrambling through shadows, its barbed appendages eagerly twitch. Alright, who's up first? So, interfuse. And then I'm actually going to interfuse with my hair like that. And we'll wait. Uh, train or t Taylor makes an elusive move, slipping into the great plane. She is hidden. Okay. And I'll ambush. Oh, I have to choose. Well, that didn't work out well, but now I know. Open door, and we'll go sentinel, just in case. Sentinel, again, just in case. And... Gonna wait. Sure. Oh, I 
can't really do anything, so once again, let's open the door. Oh, that's not good. And we will sentinel. I'll move here. Very nice. Oh, they can attack from a corner. This may be the end. We'll go ahead and go back here and strike it. Oh, it blocked. No! No! Let's see. We'll throw from the brazier. And instead, we'll interfere with this chest. Blocked. Oh, thank goodness. Go ahead and move here. We got victory. Ooh. So, Moon Spear, this stone hafted spear was made to honor the moon. And how does one honor the moon? It's versatile for chopping, thrusting, even sweeping a great arc of enemies away. Let's go ahead and replace our pickaxe. Some dawns are gray that should be golden. The smell of ash embitters the taste of victory. No rain. I wish we'd get some rain. Someone's got to keep fighting on our roads, our hills, in our own wild places. The threat will only grow. We all feel that. What started here could be much bigger than us, so uh, I was thinking, let's not wait to be overrun. We'll walk these lands and we'll learn how to fight. We'll send out word, a call for the able and strong. And we'll name this company of heroes... The Swan Highwaymen, the Gauntlet of Hunless, or Hewless, the Peerage of Kess. I like that, the, pe the Peerage of Kess. I imagine it'd be dangerous. Wanders in the wilderness, dual zone drawbridges, romance among the ruins. I am that woman. If this is what you're set on, then I'm in too. Here follow. The tales of the Peerage of Kess be remembered. Your enemies improve their strategies after every fight. So the Rage Stampede. A new card has been added to the Gorgon deck. The deck is more dangerous now. That's interesting. Alright. So we get legacy points by take or by taking new sites. Your company gets legacy points from taking new sites. You can spend them to do the following things. Recruit heroes, build new stations, cancel calamities and incursions. That's interesting. Securing new sites. The site is free. You can assign a hero to secure it. Secured sites will provide resources at the end of the chapter, which you can use to upgrade your gear. All right. Our, our job isn't done until we've restored what our enemies left in tatters. Secure the tower. Investigate thoroughly, catalog everything, burn what's not useful, and get it ship shaped. All right, so time is passing as we do that. Tower of the, or Tower of North Bindle Furs has been cleaned out and put in good order with time left for a few days of comfort. Tower, let's see, we'll return to the hands of the common folk. While they tend it, the site will provide resources at the end of each chapter. One and get and two spell threads. Alright. Let's go recruit someone. Um, let's see. How do we have three.
kind of... I like that. Compassionate Romantic? Yeah. It's gonna work for it. You're back! I saw you leave a while ago. I did. And it's going well. The monster slaying... There's so much monster slaying going on. Just victory after victory, you know. But, eh. Bottom line is, I could do with another pair of hands. Are you interested? I have to confess. I was crestfallen when you marched off. The start of a once-in-a-lifetime tale has dropped itself in front of me and then slipped away just as quickly. Oh, um, I didn't realize. He could have said something. But now the opportunity returns. A call to answer. So you're in? Wholeheartedly. What sort of skills do you need the most? All right. Um, I think we could use another warrior. Oh, we're gonna train him as a warrior. Um, yeah. And let's go scout. So, very much like a board game, very much like XCOM. Warriors like Garter are built hardy, enduring with natural aptitude for battle. They develop powerful techniques for close combat. Alright. We could grant three armor to himself for, um, or a nearby ally. Engage a swift action, engages another creature, forcing it to attack him. I'd want Stalwart before I did that. As a swift action, every other turn using his offhand, Garda summons um, a heave of strength to drive an enemy to a nearby tile. I'm gonna go with Stalwart. Alright. And let's just get that. Painted Amber of by the fading light, the profile of Rocky Hills catches Talon's eye. You feel that too? I swear it's watching us. One way to know for sure. Upon the hill's summit, nothing is waiting for them. It's a decent view at least. Look, you can see the salt road. Then it begins. A thrumming. It grows louder. Well, it did not sound like that. And louder, until the stone underfoot chatters and shakes. It grows louder, until it is a mighty growl, cameras thundering. And then it resolves. A voice. I am the one. The voice of a carnivore, cunning, crooning, warning them to run, promising to give chase. The one you have hunted for so long, through darks and dreams. You have hunted so long for me, and for a sisterhood that should be yours. Do you know my name. A name? It was the gift I gave to your ancestors. They walked my myth over green field and fallow, to the curves and corners of being the what they walked. Do you know my name? How? How would I? A blessing earned through ancient service, an oath written in the steps and trails, and sealed with a name. You only need to know it. I'll ask you once more. Do you know my name? Lacaius! Talon pulls the name up like a rooty weed out of her heart. She's unsure how she found it or how long it's been growing, but she's sure she's right. 
Yes, I am Lachaius, your wolf god. And now you may take my oath. Abandon your humanity, my girl, and be blessed as wolf god. Sure. Taylor kneels, and beneath, and beneath her a green light pools. Dandelions rise, yellow out of sparse, wind-scrapped dirt. They grow old and white, and throw their seeds. Next, wilt to nothing. The god rock she kneels upon hums. It cracks somewhere inside, a soul sundering howl. Like a thousand trapped, megalithic wasps echo in the bone jar of her skull. Talon? Talon? <laughs> um, okay. That just happened. Talon, Mary Ange. Plus two, retirement age. Oh dear, there's retirement age. All right, I need to, okay, so let's, I guess, meet up. Oh, no, there is a scout over here. Can I scout over there? Doesn't look like it, but can I scout over here? Let's do so. All right, the Snow Heart Woods have been revealed. We're probably not going to want to fight it alone. Infested tiles are unsafe. Groups of three or less heroes can be ambushed while spending time on an infested tile if left unchecked. The infestation can spread or turn into an incursion. You can clear the infestation by taking out the source or by sending a group of three or more heroes to patrol the tile. Okay. Yeah, we'll want to deal with that. Um, oh dear. Let's go ahead and gather there. And let's gather here. Because I'll want to take down Lady Arches first. The Fisher Arches. Where's Talon? She's not back yet. That woman drives me crazy sometimes. Might just be we overshot some, or she did. Should we backtrack a bit? This peddler may know. Oh, peddler woman! Who? Oh. Excuse us, peddler woman. We're wondering if you've seen a lady pass this way, dressed for the wilderness? Well, firstly, I'm not selling anything. Could be any time in the past couple of days. Where are you coming from? Small village near what we used to call Lady Arches. It's not... Lady Arches was where she's headed. Give me a look, but you never saw her? Sorry. No, but listen. Folks have been disappearing back there. The, I don't know what's got into them. But it's not safe. I packed my things and headed out. Your friend. Well, I hope you find her. The woman and her carts roll along. Imagine packing your life up like that. Ominous woman. Oh, well, that's not nice. My poor Talon's probably got herself into trouble again. Later. Anything? No. You? No, it's a little village, but I doubt they all packed and left. From a gully among the rocks rises a brief gust of voices. Get of that? I'm gonna have to try to keep track of what voices I do. Ah, oh, she's caged. That. Wow. 
or uh, come great or come great one great one come come great one come great one come great one does this normally work for you yeah hush hush up you come great one we brought your gifts spare us the urgent cries or talent the urgent cries and amber torchlight are easy to follow in an otherwise still night talent's cage is makeshift but sturdy this is a sacrifice or this is a sacrifice isn't it shh not if we stop it um attempt to reason then and let's see what we'll try Arthony? Try to kill it as all killed, stranger. Or, or just yourself. The opposite. See that woman you've caged? She has my heart. And if I have to die for her, I will. But... This is the price of survival. Our own. We are not exempt. The Great One demands sacrifice. And we have no choice but to oblige. No choice at all. What are you saying? And what's this great one? You see, you... You haven't seen it? The great one. It comes with a host of misshapen beasts, monsters. It burns. It eats. Or else rages and kills those across the countryside. So... We kill it. We'll kill it. Huh? Won't we? Guess so. Hmm. You really mean that? You'll stand in its way. Do battle with the deadly monster. Why? That's a good question. How deadly we talking? <laughs> I like these character traits. If we fail, then it'll eat us anyway, doesn't it? Either way, you're safe. Well... I see no harm in letting you try. Don't expect us to throw our lives in with yours. The town folk shuffle past you up to the, their homes. Arthony, Garter, and Cash to break Talon out of her prisoner. I wish one of you had stopped me. Now we have to go fight a great one. From within the cave, a blue glow grows. A hungry growl. <laughs> Oh, and we're doomed. We are doomed. Okay. Alright. Well, she's up first. What can I interfuse? Um, tentacles, tentacles, rocks, and a lamp. Let's go ahead and do that, and... Also that. Okay. Rock shield, attack scenery, flare. Yeah, I'll go for that. Ah! Alright, flanking. Flank an enemy with an attack of 90 degrees or more. Okay. And then we have guardian. End your turn and wait for an enemy to come within range. Nope. Let's go ahead and slam. Oh, very nice. Eh, no, I'm just gonna shoot instead. Good, we have a good chance of just ending the raccoon. Let's go ahead and do that. And we won't get an action, but at least we'll be here and guarding. Or not. Well, that just isn't nice. <laughs> Alright, Rock Shield, Discuss. Stone Disc launches at an enemy or scenery and then ricochets. Okay. You blocked it. Guardian. Let's 
go ahead and move there. Interfuse. Broken pots. And... Go ahead and set that. I am so glad that I don't trigger my own traps. Oh, wow! The great one. This is not good. I think we should roll a sanity check. <laughs> We're gonna use Guardian. You're in range. She blocked. Oh, very nice. Owie! Oh, and Garter died. Garter bellowed in agony. His left arm was severed. I have to fall back. I'll fight another day. I'll die, but I'll take... I'll give life to protect my friends. So Garter is maimed. Garter dies and deals 10 damage. Oh, dear. Three armor to all. Poor Garter. We just recruited him. Okay. We'll go ahead and establish Sentinel since I have a feeling. Yeah, we're gonna do the great one. Yep. Oh, is someone in range? Yeah. Oh, we actually hit. Very nice. Ow. Oh, very nice indeed. I really feel bad about Garter. I do. Uh, oh, no, 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 cancel, cancel, cancel. And shoot. Victory! Oh! Well, uh, Arthney, we get a reduction in speed, but plus two armor and minus five dodge. Our speed goes down, our dodge goes down, but we hit it. You know what? Yes, let's go to claim. Although, okay. Oh, snakes no knee pet. Well, you know, Arthony just lost dodge. Now that we've... Oh, the story is so interesting. Whoever made this game, whoever thought this idea up, whichever person you are in World War Walker, I think it's Games LLC. Yes, World Walker Games LLC. As a team, as a person, as a community, you guys, this is an awesome game. I think that I'm going to start over now that I have a little bit better understanding. But, oh my goodness. Let's go ahead and finish off this story, though. Or this Great One story. Victory comes at a dire cost, but the Great One is extinguished, reduced to ash. Its minions are dead or scattered. Talon and the rest make a wary return from the cave in the gully. You're a true friend, Kache. I want you to know I'm grateful. We stay together. We can move mountains. I believe that. I was going to mention Garter. Mountains, huh? Dawn climbs onto the distant hills as the old townswoman sheepishly approaches, trailing a young woman with fiery eyes. Let me first thank you, strangers. My name's Cass Steltwater, and my parents were among the first sacrificed to that thing by this woman and her posse. This whole town was under their thumb. In any case, you've broken their power, and we've rested our homes back. You and yours will be welcome here for the rest of uh, for the rest of numbered days. Wait, that doesn't make any sense. And in our humbled village, your name shall never fade. As the morning stretches. Talon and the others head out, refusing 
an offer to stay in favor of getting on the road. The people here will be strong, believing in the courage of the peerage of Kess. The lair of the Great One will be overgrown with flowers and memorial to the innocents who died there. The story will ring through generations. Three legacy points. Yay! They get more powerful, and that's okay. Um, Garter Wary fell in battle at Snow or at Snow or Hood. What a waste. What is best? We shall construct a tomb to commemorate his story. Garter Wary will be added to your legacy. Yes. Garter deserves to be remembered. Okay. So. Yeah, I may save this. Yeah, let's go and save it. But again, I think now that I have a little bit more understanding, I'm going to start over this game. So far, it's amazing. I like it. Um, yeah, I like it a lot. So if you're interested in seeing more, certainly stay subscribed. Let me know. Give it a thumbs up. Comment below. If this isn't your cup of tea, then go ahead and comment what was wrong with it. How, quite frankly, I made terrible choices. But in the meantime, I am Nidnoski. As always, have fun.